What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and today I wanted to talk about iOS 8.4. Namely, I'm gonna be talking about what's new, what's changed, is it a firmware worth updating to, and pretty much just going over every detail that I know about it. So first off, I just wanna say, at the moment of me making this video, we're still in the beta stage. This is iOS 8.4 beta 2 at the moment. And I just wanna mention that there are quite a bit of new features, and in this video, I'm gonna be going over them, how it feels on my device. I mean, what's the difference? And pretty much just like I said, going over every detail that I can with you guys. Now, before I get into that, for my fans, I just wanna mention, I'm actually gonna be leaving on a trip for about two and a half weeks, so I won't be able to post relevant videos. I'll be posting a little bit, um, but I just wanna mention that, that I'll be away for a little bit, but I will be back in full force after in about two, three weeks. Weeks. Anyways, so let's go ahead and continue. All right, now the major highlight of iOS 8.4 is that brand new shiny music application. Inside of it, you'll find a completely redesigned user interface and it's much simpler. So Apple has done away with the five categories. Now it's a three categories with my music, playlists, and radio. It's extremely simple, very effective, and it looks good. Now, besides this, and I'm gonna go into detail in this in just a second, there is very little that's changed in iOS 8.4. If anything, it feels even better buggier than iOS 8.3 on my other device. Now that of course is because this is still a beta, so you can't judge that, but it doesn't feel right. But of course, Apple will probably, uh, you know, get to all of that. Anyways, so inside of the music application, the redesign is absolutely beautiful, very beautiful and effective. So up here, you have your recently added, of course, you can go into here, and sometimes, yeah, this happens. It's just a little graphical glitch. The album artwork disappears. So uh, I like the fact that you can see all your recently added right away over here. And if you actually scroll through, you'll notice that it's very fluid, much more fluid and easier to go through a large amount of music rather than in iOS 8.3. Let me just show you as a comparison, it stutters. So over here, I've got the same music and uh, man, it kind of feels bad going back through them, but it's very hard to go through these it's like it doesn't flow as fast as iOS 8.4. It's a little juddery. That's something I've noticed because I have a huge music library, so it's definitely noticeable. But anyways, the organization of the music, the art, it's very beautiful inside of this application and it's very functional as well. So there's a new mini player. So let's say that I'm playing something and I wanna you know, make it disappear. It has a mini player option down here. So when you actually click on this guy over here, it'll bring up the actual now playing page. And if you actually just wanna get rid of it, just slide it down, really simple. Now, the thing I like about it is that when you click a song, it doesn't take you to the now playing page like it would in iOS 8.3 it doesn't interrupt your experience. It actually just puts it in a little mini player down here, which then you can subsequently drag up or just click and it'll take you here. It's very beautiful. The artwork now takes up the full top page and it's really nice. It just looks beautiful. I can't say that enough because I absolutely love it. It's a very clean redesign. So anyways, drag this away. And over here we have our playlists view. So of course you have your playlists and there's more customization options for the playlists. Now, if you wanna edit a playlist or create a new one, you can add a title and an actual thumbnail. So it's more customizable than it was before in iOS 8.3 or before. So the playlist view is really nice. And I forgot to mention over here, you can actually organize all the music to either display songs or playlists. There's several categories that you can choose over here, which is a nice touch because that way you can cycle through them easier. On iOS 8.3, there were different pages for that. So anyways, radio now has a beautiful redesign as well, bigger icons, and in the latest beta, they're actually matched to the color of the radio station. So it definitely looks great, it's very effective. Now, whether or not it's worth updating to 8.4 for this, that's up to you guys, but certainly there's no drawback of not doing it. If you use your music application a lot, it's definitely worth it. If not, it's up to you. But on the betas, I noticed that iOS 8.4 is very buggy, but of course, that's to be expected. I can't even complain about that because I'm using a beta. Is it worth losing a jailbreak over? Certainly not. Apple Watch support is one thing. However, just to update for the music application, I really wouldn't. There's really not much incentive for me to do that. Battery life seems a little bit worse. If anything, pretty much the same, but it is noticeably a little bit worse for me on my iPhone 6 Plus. Now, I just want to mention this will most likely be the very last iOS update period. We will not see any more iOS 8.5 or 8.4.1 update. This will probably be 
the the very last one. And then we're going to see iOS 9 roughly in about two months, uh, final release at the end, and you know, around September. So iOS 8.4 is going to be the last firmware. If it looks good, the music application is nice. Other than that, there's not much features. Of course, the regular bug instability fixes. So I'm going to have a comparison video of the speed very soon. I'm actually curious to see how iOS 8.4 changes the experience. So when will iOS 8.4 be released? It's very likely it will be released in May. So end of May, we're likely to see about three to four betas of it before we uh, get a full release and we're already on beta two. iOS 8.3 saw four betas. Usually average amount of betas that come out before a big release is about five to six. So we should be seeing it very soon, about three to four betas, two left to go. So about two, three weeks until the release and then we're gonna see iOS 9. So anyways guys, thanks for watching this review of iOS 8.4. Just wanted to share everything I know about this firmware with you guys. Unfortunately, I don't have any new jailbreak news for you. I'm still waiting on all the jailbreak developers. Thanks for watching this video, guys. You will enjoy iOS 8.4, especially when the final release is out. It's going to be a very great firmware. The music application is very nice. I absolutely love it in the newest firmware. So once you do get it, enjoy iOS 8.4 and have a great day, guys. Peace.